Hey YouTube, it's Dorian, and this is Scion Linux 18.2. So what's different in this version? Well, first of all, the control panel, by default, you now get this version. If you're using 18.1.1, uh, you would have also received this in your system updates because these packages update regularly through normal updates. Another thing you might notice is the button to start the auto updater is gone. And that's because it now starts by itself, by default. There's still not a ton of options for it yet. You can turn it off by unchecking this, but when you reboot, it will be turned back on. I'll also be adding a feature where when there are updates available, you can actually see a list of what's available. Other things that have changed is I have removed Thunar completely and I'm sticking with PC Man FM. It's lightweight, it does what we need it to do, and I didn't see a need to have Thunar because it installed a few extra things along with it. Another thing that you might notice right away is the new backgrounds. I added a couple with the Scion logo just for fun. And the login screen is also a different background. You can always change it yourself, but I thought this looked a little nicer, a little cleaner. So this is running in a virtual machine and the virtual box drivers are installed. Now your wallpaper won't recenter, but that's because of nitrogen. That's doesn't mean anything, but you could see that uh, everything else resizes how it should. And then go back full screen, wait a second. And there you go. I had issues previously with the virtual box driver with the kernels I was using before, but that seems to be sorted now. And speaking of kernels, it's now using Linux 4.13.0-32. That is a patched kernel for the Meltdown and Spectre vulnerabilities. It caused some headaches, but all the fires have been put out. Everything's running as it should, and now we can just move on. However, there is some issues that popped up with virtual machines. So if you're having trouble running virtual machines and your system locks up completely, that's because you have one of the patched kernel versions, whether it's this one or 4.4.0-112. And I think maybe 109 for 4.4. Either way, I had virtual machine problems that would lock up the system and I, I posted a fix for it on the SourceForge page for Scion Linux on instructions on how to do it, but I'm also gonna do a video anyways. I also had an issue with NVIDIA graphics that got killed as well, and I had to uninstall, reinstall firmware, reinstall, and uh, yeah, I'll do a video about that as well. Uh, and with SourceForge, when I put out 18.2, I rushed it a little bit and I was up till past 1130 on a weeknight, which is late for me considering I stay up till 530 or I get up at 530 to go to work. And it doesn't seem to be the version that I meant it to be that is up there. However, the next day after I uploaded it, SourceForge went down and we still can't upload large files via SFTP. So I'm waiting for that so that I can upload the proper ISO for 18.2. Other changes that are coming up that have nothing to do with the Scion version itself is the leave panel. Uh, I had some issues on a couple of computers. I don't know if they're just responding too fast, but you click the button and the window goes away, but nothing actually happens. And what's happening is it's registering a lost focus before a button press. So I'm changing that and I'm gonna make it look a lot nicer using graphics and these will work much better. This is of course, just an example. I haven't made the pictures yet, but you're gonna have little icons for the logout, restart and shutdown. And that again is also going to be pushed through regular system updates. You don't have to reinstall Scion. And if you'll also notice, I have changed the buttons to be the larger by default, which you can change in the control panel, open box settings. There's Mercury and Mercury small. They're the exact same thing, just smaller. I had a couple of people say they like the larger one better. So that's now the default, but you could change it to whatever you want. Also, someone mentioned the clock time because it was in 24 hour format. 
I changed it to 12 hour with the AM PM, but you could change that yourself. I will put a setting in the control panel just so it's easier. And while on the subject of the panel or taskbar, whatever you want to call it, someone asked if I could put it on the bottom. Well, you can do that yourself. It's in the panel settings. Panel settings are for this panel up here. So you're just going to edit your theme. There are different themes you can choose from. You're just going to edit the default theme, which is the top one. And then you get the settings window where you can go to panel, move it on the bottom, hit apply. Now it's on the bottom. And the leave panel will still work and pop up above it. The clock, these settings here are the ones you'll use to change the format of the time and date. And lastly, as you can see, the control panel has the version in the corner. This is hard coded for now, but it will be dynamic and it will change according to the version that you're running. And lastly, I believe if all goes according to plan, this will be the last testing version of Scion Linux. The next version will be 18.3 and it will be codenamed Venus. Now it's planned that this Venus release will be the first stable release based on Ubuntu 16.04. After that, I'll explore making a version on based on the Ubuntu 18.04 core. However, for Scion Venus, you will not have to, don't quote me on that, so far with the plan, you will not have to reinstall an ISO because all the updates will come from your regular system updates. The biggest change with Venus will be it will have its own custom installer instead of using system back as I'm doing right now. And the reason I want to do that is so that when you boot up, you can select your language and keyboard layout right from the beginning and set other things like your time zone, your locale, currency, date, time formats, all that good stuff right from the time you install so that as soon as you boot up the first time, it's exactly how it's supposed to be for you. So if you've already installed 18.2 Mercury, you won't have to reinstall because the only, the biggest new thing will be the installer and you've already installed. All Scion software like the control panel and anything extra that I add, the updater, these will all be updated with normal updates. I have added, if I can just search here, in 18.2, there is a meta package called Scion Base. It's a meta package. And what a meta or meta package is, is something that is not a package itself. It doesn't install anything itself, but it installs other packages as dependencies. Now, the reason I did this was because the keyboard layout was not included before. And I was trying to think of a way to install it and I could have scripted something with the control panel or something else, but it was a little messy. So I was saying to people, you can install it manually and then it'll work. Well, now, next time I want to add a new package, I can just include it as a dependency to the Scion base and it'll install it. If you've tried Scion and you like it, you don't like it, let me know. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. If you used it on hardware, software, if anything, software, software being a virtual machine. Uh, if something was broken, if you had any glitches, I'd really like to hear about it. And I'd like to know if you like certain things that I've added, like the launcher button up in here. If you don't like it, if everybody hates it, I'll take it out. Thanks for your interest in Scion. Thanks for trying it out if you have. And thanks for watching and subscribing. If you're not subscribed, just click on the subscribe button there in the corner and hit like while you're at it. As always, you can follow me over on Twitter at Dorian.slash and also over on Patreon. All the links are in the description below. You can head on over there and support me if you would like to. It'll help with the future web hosting and domain purchase that I'm going to be doing shortly. And quite a while ago, I demonetized all my videos on YouTube, so hopefully you're seeing a lot less advertisements right now. So till next time, bash on.